put on camera. <laughs> Everybody who was painting on that umbrella to yeah. say something personal about his painting. Would you like to do that? Oh, well, I'm just putting some peace symbols because that's that's what we're doing here. We're we're uh, we came here to have a peaceful prayer ceremony for all of the dolphins that are about to die in the cove, which is right next door to this building. So yeah, I think peace symbols are most appropriate. Yeah, and uh, you have been here many times. I've been here, first time I came here was in 1976. And uh, I've been coming pretty much four or five times a year since 2003. Yeah. So now we're here again and you're here again. And uh, how does it feel? It feels very strange to be back here. I don't feel safe here. <laughs> you have to remember uh, in Japan, culture is very different in, in, in the West and losing face, they call it, is something very serious and when people lose face, they sometimes kill themselves, commit suicide. The town of Taiji has become, it's a very small town and it's become um, very, very infamous all over the world and people have been the, the town has been shamed, not so much for because of what we do, but what they do. The, the few uh, dolphin hunters who live in this town. There's only 58, or 48, excuse me, 48 men in the union that kill dolphins. Most of the people in Taiji, and there are 3,444 living here, most of them do not kill dolphins. Most of the fishermen fish for lobsters and crabs and small reef fish. But those 48 are very, very angry because of this international publicity. And they see me as the source of all of this attention they're getting. And so I don't feel comfortable here anymore. But you're still coming. Well, I'm, but I'm always surrounded by, you know, journalists or tomorrow there'll be police here. And so uh, I would never come here alone again. I used to come here alone for many years. And I would be at the cove when the sun came up um, with all of these angry fishermen around me. I would never do that today. It just isn't safe anymore. So do you think? Well, we'll be safe tomorrow. We'll be. They're not going to attack. You. They're upset with me. But they're not going to be upset with you or most of the people here. Any of the people here. And this is something you would like to tell the world about this issue. Um, Yes, I think that uh, I would let, like the people in uh, the rest of the world know that the economic underpinning of the dolphin slaughter is the trade in captive dolphins. That's where the big money is. They get as much as $154,000 for each dolphin. And so it's the traffic in captive dolphins that keeps this thing going. And we can all do something about that. And that is, don't buy a ticket for a dolphin show, whether it's a Duisburg Zoo or SeaWorld or the Taiji Whale Museum. Don't buy a ticket. That's the solution. It's the consumers who have the power. So that's my message. Don't buy a ticket for a dolphin show. Thank you. Sure.